All right, first up, if you want to snag those global shortcuts in Linux Ghosty, you're going to need a pretty recent development build. And by recent, I mean like within the last week or so. Also, you should be aware this feature didn't come easy. No, no, it has been a lot of debus pain and suffering. So maybe throw a little sympathy to the developer, even if he is actually a KDE user. Now I got Ghosty built from GitHub. It's only a single command to build and install it, but before you do that, make sure you have Zig 0.14. It won't work with Zig 0.13. Um, okay, let's try it maybe. We open Ghosty, and next we go into Settings. The command palette is also like a week old, and get this. It's by the same contributor as the global shortcuts. A KDE user contributing big to GNOME. Pretty wild, huh? Anywho, let's add a shortcut, so keybind equals. Um, okay. Basically, the main reason you'd want to set a global shortcut for a terminal is usually to get a drop-down uh, terminal. But, you know, the problem is GNOME doesn't actually implement Wayland shell, so we just can't have that. So, um, what if we do something pointless just for demonstrating purposes, huh? So, control and shift and N, and we know that opens a new window, so we'll keep it like that, equals new underscore window, and then we'll just transform that to a global shortcut. Amazing plan! And to do so, we need to say global and colon right before the actual trigger. Then we need to reload the configuration and boom! The global shortcuts portal pop-ups. So eventually we can trigger the new window action without having focus on the app. I'd say mission successful. And one last thing is we can actually see the global shortcuts on apps details, but we can't really edit them directly from here. Even if settings present the option, that won't actually work. <laughs> Which is super lame when you get UIs that don't really work. Am I wrong?